Greeting everyone. Today, we will learn about DATABS, DBMS and ER model. What is database? A database is essentially a collection of information that's structured in a specific way, so that a computer program can swiftly access the data it needs. Think of it like any other file you might have on your computer, such as an MP3, a Word document, or a movie file. The difference is, with a database, you have control over how the data is stored for efficient retrieval. Whenever we want to organize a large amount of data that needs to be retrieved fast, we could use a database. Database Management System A DBMS, or Database Management System, acts like a helpful librarian for a computer. It's special software that serves as a bridge between users and databases, similar to how a librarian organizes and manages books in a library. This software is designed to handle large amounts of information efficiently. It allows users to define, create, query, update, and administer databases seamlessly. The DBMS keeps track of various pieces of information, organizes them neatly, and simplifies tasks like finding, adding, updating, or removing data whenever needed. There are various types of database models, each with its way of storing data and organizing the logical structure of the database. Entities are objects in the real world that are distinguishable from other objects relevant to the software system. It can be tangible or intangible. X, the employee, customer, product, etc. are tangible entities, department, bank account, etc. are intangible entities. An entity is described in the database using a set of attributes. An attribute is a property or characteristic of an entity. Name, age, and gender are attributes of an employee. Relation and relationship. A relation simply means a two-dimensional table with rows and columns. A relationship is an association between two or more entities. Rows in a table represent entities. Attributes form the column of a table. Entity relationship is one of the most used DBMS. In the ER model data is stored in tables, also known as relations. Tables contain rows and columns. Data is viewed as entities, attributes, and different relations that can be defined between entities. Now, let's create an ER diagram. Since the student is an entity in this form, it is shown as a square, and its attributes, such as age and student ID, are represented as ovals. Because the course is an entity in this case, it is shown as a square and ovals representing its attributes, including course ID and title. The connection between a student and a course is shown by drawing a line between them. This line signifies that students can take multiple courses, and courses can have multiple students enrolled in them. Thank you.